Aloha! I'm Tinry Gold and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this darling pineapple tray. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start off with five brushes. This is my extra large brush. Then I have my next one, I call this the fatty. The next one a little bit smaller is our medium brush. Then you're gonna skip a brush, you'll find your littlest brush, that's your baby. And then you have a brush that's in between, our baby and our medium, and we call that the tween. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with our extra large brush here, tap a little water, and I'm gonna start by doing the background. So I tap a little water, and I'm gonna go ahead and zhuzh the white. I'm gonna push it, push it, move it. Notice it's just like, really, really grab the biggest chunk I possibly can, okay? And I'm gonna grab a big chunk of that turquoise background. When you're ready, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it off, oops, just like so. And this is gonna be, you know, obviously this wood box of pineapples. And so I'm just gonna kinda go in between where the pineapples would be. There's gonna be that sign where I'm gonna write aloha, but you obviously can write, you know, whatever you want. You can write, you know, family name or, you know, something different. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave that blank, just like so. And again, I'm gonna have white moments and turquoise moments, and that's what you want, that's what you want. So go ahead, there's gonna be a pineapple right there. Just like so. This is the time if you want to go ahead and paint the sides, you definitely can. But I'm not going to do that today. Okay. This definitely looks like a mess, but I always like to say just trust the process. Okay, here we go. La la. La. Done. Okay, let's go ahead and washi washi. We're going to go ahead and do the. Um, the table that it's on. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do a black table. So I'm going to take my extra large fatty brush, take a little black, and go ahead and do the bottom here. Always make sure you have a nice clean line right there, just like so, just like so. I'm always constantly tapping water on my brush, on my brush, just like so. And just make sure when you go across, you're like, oh, maybe I need to add a little bit more there so it's nice and even. And even if you pull in some of your background color, that's okay. 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 Great. Let's move on to the um, pineapples. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my fatty brush, tappy tappy water, and I'm going to take my um, fatty brush and I'm going to judge a little white. I might have a little black in there from my water, but you know, that's okay. It all kind of figures itself out. I'm going to grab a big chunk of white, big chunk of what we call pretty yellow, and a chunk of ugly mustard. Nothing too serious. I'm just going to chunk, chunk, chunk it. I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm gonna move my water out of the way. Okay, you're gonna notice that when I start painting, I'm gonna have all these different colors on the canvas. And even if you get like that turquoise on there, that's okay because sometimes pineapple kind of has that, you know, green feel to it. Okay, I'm gonna bring it like this, just like so. And then I have another one up here as well. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add shadows and stuff to that later. But notice how chunky I am with my paint. Great. I'm not even going to touch it. I'm just going to take my fatty brush. I'm going to flat, flat some chocolate like that. Okay. I'm just going to bring it down here. Bring it down like here. And I'm going to barely just kind of shadow this background of this one here. Just so that way you can kind of see it's like a little shadow on that one. And I like to use my fatty brush because I flat, flat it like so, flat, flat it. And then I take it, your brush can go two ways. It can go fatty, skinny. So in my skinny position, I take it and I'm just gonna kind of do a quick little outline and I'm gonna cut it like that in my skinny position and I'm gonna cut it back just like so. Come over here, I'm gonna cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it and cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, just like that. And again, this is just the beginning. I'm gonna come back and add more to it, but let's just get those cuts in the pineapple right now. Great, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually grab my tween brush. I'm gonna grab my tween brush. I'm gonna go back into that pretty yellow. Maybe grab a little bit of ugly mustard here. 
And I'm gonna go and kind of add, you know, it's kind of like, it kind of has like these jagged little areas. And like in between it has, there's lots of different kind of layers to a pineapple. So it kind of has those little pricks, those little prickles. And again, I'm just taking a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of that pretty yellow, just kind of adding that texture in between each one of the diamonds, like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add white and highlights and stuff later. But this is just some of the beginning stages of our pineapple. And I'm just adding these little pricks here and there. Prick, 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 just like so. Here and there, here and there, just like that. And of course we have the one that's in the back. We all need just that little bit just that little bit of texture in there. Just like that. Do, 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 do. Now this one needs to be a little bit darker. So I might just add a little bit of black. Just and I'm barely touching the canvas. I always like to say it's kind of like frosting a cake. It's like I'm barely touching it with this like frosting. It's almost like the, the paint is frosting itself. I'll kind of come around here. And I'm just constantly grabbing, oh, maybe a little ugly mustard, just so that it kind of shows up a little bit better. Like that, so it's shadowed. Again, I'm just constantly adding that texture back in there. And I might come back in here, maybe just a little bit, just to kind of like, everything has just a little bit of black on it. Just a little bit of black on it here and there, maybe a little too much. Okay, that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my brush and I'm gonna grab a big chunk of white, okay? Big chunk of white. And now I'm gonna kind of go back with the white, the highlights. And I'm kind of doing those diamonds again. And I'm adding those things. It's just like I'm constantly layering it. Constantly layering all of these fun, kind of pineapple imperfections that it has. You know, no pineapple is the same but you can kind of get what it is you can kind of get what it is okay so now i'm going to go ahead i'm going to go ahead and um grab my baby brush or i'm sorry i'm going to grab my tween brush here and i think that's good for now we can always go back for it okay we need to do our sign because we always need to do the sign um earlier than later because we want to make sure it's dry so when we add our paint onto it it will um it will nicely um paint consistently okay so i'm gonna take my fatty brush i'm just grabbing a big chunk of white big chunk of white just like so just like so and i'm taking this kind of kind of have like a, a um kind of a rough edge to it just a rough edge to it, just like that. And notice how I accidentally kind of went above. Well, we can always trim that down with turquoise. Kind of has a rough edge there. Just make sure, if you ever need to measure something, I kind of measure it by the brush. Like, okay, this goes like this. Turn it over like this. I was like, okay, maybe I need to move that over. Just a little bit. Like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to take the end of my brush. My hair is falling out, so... Just bear with me, let's just, reality. Okay, so I'm gonna take my fatty brush. I just took my brush like this, flat, 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 you know? And I'm gonna kinda cut it like that, like it's like a little edge. I'm gonna go underneath here, like so. Just to kind of give it, you know, kind of anchor it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna take that leftover black a little bit of chocolate and then this is going to be behind actually I'm going to go ahead and grab my medium brush and grab my medium brush this is kind of like behind where the here the box is going to go this is going to be a big box okay I'm going to go ahead and grab my fatty brush and I'm going to take my fatty and I'm gonna go ahead and zhuzh the chocolate. Push it, move it. I'm grabbing the biggest chunk of chocolate I possibly can. Look at that. So much, okay? Wiping it off. Wiping it off, okay? And when I do that, I might corner just a little bit of white, okay? 
When I do that, you'll see it kind of has that wood texture to it. So sometimes it's lighter, sometimes it's darker. I'm gonna do a nice clean edge. I might have to go back right there with a little bit of yellow. So don't, again, you don't have to get it right on the first try, you know? It's all good. We're in no rush. We are in no rush. I'm gonna cut, cut it like that, just like so. I might pick up a little bit more white. I think I'm gonna ink right here, like that. This is like a wood box. So I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna kinda of like, I kinda of take my brush and I don't zhuzh, I just kinda of poke like that. And I'll kinda of go like this, I'll cut it in half. And it's like, oh, there's wood here. Oh, there's wood right here. Maybe here, like that. Just like so. And I might take my tween brush. I'm gonna take my tween brush. And I'm gonna take straight up black. Maybe a little corner. So I got my black, little corner white. I'm just gonna push, 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 push. And these are like the little nails. I might add a little bit more white. White to it. Push, 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 push. Like so. Okay, let's just go back while we're still thinking about it. I'm gonna add a little ugly mustard. I'm gonna go back right in here. Kind of fill in that pineapple. And again, you just kind of like continue with your, this is why it's always good not to have it perfect because when you mess up, you can just kind of go back and nothing will just kind of blend. You would never know that I kind of made a mistake. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my medium brush. It's time to do the leaves. So I'm gonna grab my medium brush. Actually, I'm gonna use my fatty. I'm using my fatty brush and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna zhuzh the green, push it, push it, move it. I'm gonna zhuzh the green. Got a little yellow in there, that's okay. I'm gonna grab a big chunk of pretty yellow and a little chunk of white. Again, look at how much paint is on my brush. It's a lot, okay? Take it, wipe it off. I might put a little there, a little there, a little there, okay? And I'm gonna take it, I'm just gonna bring it up, flip it out, flip it out. And you're gonna have green moments and yellow moments and that's what you want, okay? And I'll take a little bit more green, maybe a little bit of white. And this time I kind of curl my brush over like that. And I'm gonna go back with some dark color too, but this is just to kind of get it in at the beginning. I kind of first start it out straight, and I'll kind of flip it out, flip it out, and then kind of bring it out like so. Again, no pineapple is perfect. Look at that. Flipping, 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 grabbing more green, yellow. Let's see, this one kind of shoots out like that. So this one kind of comes down like that. And I'm gonna grab a little white. Cause you'll notice like the more white and yellow you have, it kind of makes it pop a little bit more. Makes it pop on there. All of them are a little different. Like this one's pretty yellow, but this one, that one's not like so. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my medium brush grab my medium brush and I'm going to take a little black, a little green, I'm going to mixy mixy to get, I like to call it a dark forest. So I'm going to zhuzh that like so. So it's pretty dark. I'm just going to barely touch it. Just add those little dark moments. Again, I'm just grabbing, just barely touching. Maybe a little bit down here. And I'm going to go ahead and take it like so. Just like that. I'm gonna come down here, just like so. Do, do, do. Back and forth, back and forth. You can kind of have it come up like that. Do, do, do. Just like that. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and I'm going to do this one. Our box is gonna kind of have like a golden handle. So I'm gonna take a little bit of ugly mustard, a little white, a little chocolate brown, and gold. All of them together. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of like bring it up like so and bring it back as if there is like a handle. This 
one's kind of like peeking behind it, so you don't really see it as much. But I'm gonna kind of flat, flat a little chocolate and kind of do a little shadow. Like that. A little shadow. And I might grab my baby brush. Okay. I got my metallic gold. Like so. And I'm just gonna grab a chunk of white. Like so. It's like a little handle. This one you can't see. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little black really quick to kind of like color that in right there. Okay, now we have our sign. So I'm gonna take my tween brush, grab a little ugly mustard, just like this whole combo. Okay, and it's like hung by with a dot here, and a dot here. And it's kind of like hung by, hung by something. It's like a little sign hanging like, oh, pineapples for sale, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and write aloha. Sometimes if this part is really kind of wet, I'll take my finger or like a dry brush and make sure it's nice and smooth, okay? And I'm gonna move this out of the way. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna use my tween brush. I'm gonna zhuzh the black. I'm gonna zhuzh the black, like so. Some people do cursive, you could do printing, doesn't matter. I'm gonna do kind of like cute, I'm gonna call it Hawaiian font. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna barely touch it. I'm just gonna do that, maybe the A. Comes down like that, comes like that, A. And then we have a low, ha. I sure wish I was in Hawaii right now. That sounds amazing. And then H. It kind of has like a little rustic feel to it. H like that. And again, like this one might come into the, just like so, okay? And then I always like to be able to personalize my paintings. So this can be something, where's my baby brush here? You can kind of write something on the, uh, the box here. So you can kind of put like a family name or like a date, or maybe you could put like your favorite place in Hawaii, you could put like Maui, just something like very understated. In this case, I'm gonna put, for example, like you could put like established and like maybe a wedding date, or if this was like your honeymoon or something like that. So I'm gonna put like a little E, S, T established. And then I'll just put 2018 since that's when, um, that's the year it is now, and I'm painting this painting in 2018, just like so. It's just like those personal touches are always so important. And so I think that right now it looks pretty good. You know, just going back and if you need to add little shadows here and there, great. Maybe you take your baby brush, add little highlights here and there. Just having those kind of like imperfection of, you know, look at, I'm like barely touching it just here and just to kind of messy it up a little bit. And then lastly, the most important thing is you must sign your name. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use that cute turquoise blue and sign my name, Timory. And of course, my last name's gold, so I always have to put that by my name. And that's it. Do you want to see more Hawaiian inspired paintings? Make sure to comment and subscribe below. Also, give us a thumbs up. Check out Tori.com with everything I do.